this is the finished product. This is Mazda 3. It's a brand new 2018 Mazda and it has uh, Google's Android Auto installed. If we want to go and uh, look at the maps, maps are there. Everything's working perfectly as expected. Again, uh, this is the 2018 Plus way of um, getting control of your system and installing anything you like. Uh, you can install Video Player, um, but I'll show you how that's done. All right, so, but uh, while I'm in the car, what I had to do is I had to pull this trim off. So you really just pinch it like that and you, you work your way through it. So you unclick that, unclick that, unclick that. I know it feels like you're going to uh, break it, but it, it's really this whole thing then comes off. This is all one piece that that comes off. And that's when this is revealed and the rest of the instructions will show you that there's a 10 millimeter you're going to need a socket to undo it and you pull this. See how it's got that oval shape? You pull that out and you gain access to the system at the back. And I'll, I'll show you a few photos. Um, and that's when you um, get those two wires into RX and TX and also the ground. Uh, those instructions will be uh, on the link that I'll show you. Uh, and I'll give you a few uh, tips uh, what was the hardest for me to do. Uh, he was definitely trying to get those two wires to get in there and not knowing whether there's a connection, the RXTX. Uh, but luckily, uh, it takes about an inch. You've got to push it in about an inch and you kind of feel that it's it's uh, touching a metal, making a connection. Uh, and that's how you, um, that's how you do it. Um, what else is here? We've got music um, and uh, everything else that you can expect from Android Auto. Um, I'm really glad this is installed so it'll be easier uh, to do everything, not to mention that navigation doesn't come with this uh, system. Uh, the Mazda, you know, I think charges $1,000 for it, so I've got it now for free, so thanks very much Mazda. Um, see, Sydney. Anyway, um, look forward to trying it. This is the cable that I used. It's a USB to serial connection cable. Uh, I've added a few other cables because you want to make sure that you have the the hard um, connector there uh, instead of the the one that comes with the cable which is just a multiple strands which is not just not strong enough to push in at the back of the connector. I'll show you. Keep watching. Okay, this video is going to show you how I hacked into my friend's Mazda um, info, MSZD infotainment system. Uh, up until about 2017, you were able to, and you'll find a lot of videos, you were able to very quickly, um, you know, do a, a GUI, uh, you know, install a piece of software on your PC, uh, plug in the USB drive, uh, select the options that you want, plug it into the USB drive of your Mazda, and uh, then you would install that. It was much easier, uh, but what's happened is that Mazda found out about that. They were kind of um, worried about that. So what they did is that, so this old method worked for all these firmware versions, but anything that's version 59.00.502 or above, uh, they've taken away the ability to install tweaks. Uh, so for more information, you have to go in and do it uh, through a different serial connection. Now, I'm going to share this uh, link with you, uh, but this serial connection is uh, quite involved. Uh, it's a bit scary when I did it, but it worked. Uh, it w worked the first time, and it's definitely worth it because now I have Google um, Android Auto, uh, Google Maps, and the full integration. I'm really happy about that. My friend's going to love it, and I'll probably do it on, um, on a few others. Uh, but um, here it is. We're going to go step by step, but I'm going to show you what I did yesterday. I've got a few photos uh, there with me. Again, this is for 2018 and above for anything that's uh, firmware 59.00.502. You can find out what you are when you go into your uh, Mazda infotainment system and go into settings and about uh, somewhere there, there'll be and information of what firmware you are, but you can be sure that from about mid-2017 and on, onwards for all the new cars, they've, uh, they've got new firmware 
and my friend's firmware was also the latest. All right, uh, stick around, I'll show you. Okay, so this website, um, mes.tweaks.com forward slash serial is where the instructions are. So um, the equipment you're going to need is, because you're going to have to get to, at the back of the unit, is this USB to serial adapter. Um, I know if you go there, it'll take you to a website. I've even found a better one. Uh, and then you'll s need some single stranded solid core insulated wire, uh, USB flash drive that's easy, 10 millimeter socket wrench, and extender ratchet, and then the pat patty session. So let me show you what I've got here. Is um, this is what I bought uh, from eBay? Uh, it only costs two dollars. So this goes into your computer, and these two wires you're going to have to do the RX and TX so the white and the green will go at the back once you pull that off right you pull it off and I explained uh, how that's done see that's that's pretty much what it looks like and at the back of it this is one of the most important uh, photos you'll want to see is it's at uh, these two here this is the RX the top one and then the bottom one TX you'll see what I mean when you get into this uh, and you need Mazda um, all in one tweaks so to prepare uh, you'll you'll do um, this is fairly easy to um, actually follow you're gonna fire off this Mazda uh, all in one and that's easily installed on your Windows uh, machine now then you're going to go into um, auto run and recovery then you're going to go into auto run and select two options install id7 and uh, recover via serial connection and then you'll say okay and that will copy all the files that you need and once you've plugged in your usb into the computer you'll say copy to usb drive it'll um, copy it automatically uh, once you've done that so that takes care of the USB flash drive uh, method automatic method you don't need to do manual method automatic works uh, this video shows you a bit more how you can get to your system that I showed you and uh, not bad videos so you've got to open the glove box uh, pull the trim um, and as I showed in the other video, disconnect the hazard light connection cable, use the 10 millimeter socket. See, this is this is that. Yeah, that's one bolt that you need to um, undo. And then the, the head unit will slide out towards you. And then the wiring, this is the, the hardest bit that I found to be. I remember the photo of the back of this connector. Um, let's find it. This is it, this is the top, this is the bottom. So this is the connector that they want you to plug in your cables. If you get the cable that I showed you, it'll be, the top one will be white and the bottom one will be green. So it's RX, top, TX, bottom. Um, and then uh, you're gonna connect the other end of the wires to the, um, you know to actually your computer uh, then the serial console app the party is the easiest one um, the links will be obviously at the top of this um, article so party once you install party it's very simple uh, you'll see something like this is the party software so you'll need to change it to serial uh, you'll have to put the COM port. Mine ended up being COM port 4. Um, you go into Windows device settings and into COM ports, and you'll see what uh, COM port it was assigned. Uh, and then you will want to set the baud rate to 115200. So this is the important step. And then you'll say open, uh, yeah, because there is no comport for currently. It's not plugged in, uh, but I'll 
I will do part two again. And show you that if you say serial, maybe comport one, have that valve rate to 1150200, open, yeah, okay, because it's not connected, then you'll get a black screen. And uh, as this um, article shows, it'll be flying past you. Um, so you should start the next text, and even if the car is off. So once you plug that in and open the terminal, you should start to see text scroll by even if the car is off. Then you want to plug in your flash drive, and this is this is what I wasn't sure about. This uh, step number three, pl plug in your flash drive. Flash drive. You got to plug in the flash drive now that you prepared earlier into your uh, USB of the car. Then you turn the car on to ACC mode, but just pressing the on button without putting your foot on the brake, so that way the car doesn't turn on. And now the text is even going to go faster if you've connected those two wires properly. Um, but and you've got to understand that the commands that you're going to be pasting will be um, pasted even if you don't see them. So, so you'll have to reboot then your Mazda CMU uh, by holding the nav and the mute button for 10 seconds. This all worked for me, so I can attest to that. Then um, you're gonna be um, uh, pasting this, so you want to do a copy. So at this stage, you'll have your laptop plugged in to your car uh, through the cable that we showed, and you, you're gonna do the copy, and you're gonna just right click. Uh, anywhere in that terminal that will paste it and then you're gonna do you know what you can do a couple of times it's not gonna hurt I had to do see copy to clipboard and then you go into your putty right click and that pastes it automatically there's no right click and paste you just paste it and once you've done that you can do this JCI this is the command so you do copy again just to make sure and then right click into that putty session optional test the serial command works by running reboot I didn't do that one so I skipped the step 11 um, uh, sorry I didn't skip step 10 I went on to uh, step 11 where again you are now CP stands for copy so this is copying the content of your USB drive that you plugged into your Mazda uh, onto the system this will help and enable you to be able to install whatever you want so you're going to say copy and the same thing you're going to go back to your party um, uh, command screen that will look something like this something like this okay and you'll just say you know right clicking it will paste it so uh, but you won't see it because the text will be scrolling uh, optionally you can copy that and I did it uh, as well you can copy this just to list what you've copied so you'll do the same thing you know it's copied onto your see onto the cl clipboard and then you're going to right click into putty that will paste it and once you go enter uh, every time you do enter after these commands it will show you that uh, this folder has these uh, magic files placed in there and then you're going to um, remove the flash drive, turn the car off, and then insert the drive, flash drive that has the I.O. tweaks installed. Now, how you're going to do those I.O. tweaks is you're going to you're going to go back into your Mazda all-in-one tool. When that opens, you're going to definitely want to do the Android Auto Head Unit app. That's your Android Auto, Google's Android Auto. Uh, another one that I installed was a video player. That's another um, important one. Uh, well, another thing you want to make sure is that this enable Wi-Fi and install SSH bring back is um, also ticked. That way you've got a backup. And uh, another thing I think I did was the no more beeps. Um, and definitely touch screen while moving that's important so touch screen while, while moving video player uh, on Android auto head unit app and no more beeps that's what I did and uh, actually I did the no more uh, disclaimer as well so once I did that you know, start, start compilation and you say start 
So it creates a file, <coughs> it tells the system what needs to be changed, um, depending on your selections, obviously. So when that was complete, it said copy to USB drive. Copying to USB drive. Once that was done, you can open USB drive and you'll see that all those files that you need, the config and everything else is in there. So now going back to our um, very important and the most important um, article is that now you go back with this uh, USB drive. Um, so this is when they say, you know, go into the, the car, insert the flash drive that has uh, all in one tweaks installed turn the car on back again ACC mode without turning the car on just the ACC without pushing the stop paddle and then after a few minutes you should see a message that indicates the mods are being installed this process may take approximately 2 to 20 minutes you know what on mine it took 2 minutes it rebooted it came back up and uh, the finished product was there um, now the finishing up is easy uh, you know you just go reverse order everything installed you can put everything back together remove those um, uh, RXDX cables and ground slide CME, uh, CMU back in attach bolt using 10 millimeter socket just make sure that that bolt once you're attaching it it doesn't fall uh, I read the forum where somebody somebody's 10 millimeter bolt actually fell inside and they couldn't find it and, and that can be a bit of a pain um, and uh, yeah, connect the hazard light connector back to the trim before you push the trim back in. Uh, and really, this is it. So the biggest obstacle and the biggest challenge here was really getting these two cables in there. This is the one. See? Getting it at the back. You don't disconnect it. This is just to show you um, here. These two cables get at the back of the unit. Or if you want to see my photo, so this is the cable. This is what it looked like when I did it, and uh, that's the cable. That's those two uh, little ports where you want to push in the cable. Uh, and uh, can't think of anything else. Uh, all the best. It works really well. It's worth it.